Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Game Boy Advance games on your PC. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing we need to do is come to this link. Links is always in the description down below. And this is going to be for the RetroArch app. This is going to be the free emulator we're going to be using in today's video. So I need to do is come here, come to the download section right here. And we're going to be downloading the latest stable build. Otherwise, if you have a specific operating system, you can feel free to download any of the other versions right here. Once RetroArch is installed, the first thing we're going to be doing is coming to the main menu right here. We're then going to be selecting the load core option. And here we'll see a list of all currently downloaded and installed cores. So what we're going to be doing from this point is coming down to the download core option and once this loads up we're going to see a full list of available cores in RetroArch. From here what we're going to be doing is scrolling all the way down until we see Nintendo and we're going to be looking for Nintendo Dash Game Boy Advance and in today's video we're going to be using MGBA. To install this we simply left click or click A on your controller. Some text will appear at the bottom left to say your core is currently being installed and once that disappears and you see the hashtag on the right hand side of your core it means your core is downloaded and installed in RetroArch. Now I will mention there's a couple of other Game Boy Advance cores available in RetroArch so if you're having issues with some games and some cores. I'd recommend experimenting with the different ones here, the GPSP, the VBA Next and the VBA M. But for today's video, I'm going to be using the MGBA. So feel free to experiment and play around with these different cores to see which one works best for you. Once your core is installed, what we're going to be doing is backing out of here. We're going to be coming back to our main menu. We're going to be coming to the load core option one more time. And we're going to be selecting the core that we just downloaded, which is the MGBA core. Click on it and you'll know your core is loaded when you come down to the bottom left. And you can see the core name here, which means our core is currently loaded. Now from this point we're ready to talk about games and how to load up and actually play games using our selected core. Now from this point I will mention in today's video I'm not going to be showing you where to download games although games are really really easy to find a quick google search will help you out here. Now I currently have my games right here in two different formats. One is a .zip file and the second is a .gba file. Now thankfully in RetroArch we can actually play games directly from a .zip or from a .gba file. So for me I actually like to keep my games in .gba files so I will always extract them from a .zip. To extract a game from a dot zip you can simply right click click extract all click extract and then your game will extract out into a new folder and you can see just like that i've gotten my gba file from my dot zip file however it is also possible that your games might come in a dot 7z or a dot rar format if this is the case you will need winrar or 7zip to extract these games i'm also going to be leaving links to these in the description down below you can really really easily install them and extract them out using that however it's unlikely your games will come in a dot 7zip or a dot rar format now once you have your games downloaded in a dot zip file or extracted to a .gba file. We're ready to head back over to RetroArch. What we can do from this point is come back to our main menu, come to the load content option. Since we already have our core loaded, we don't need to do that again. Simply click on and select our load content. And then from here, we just need to locate to where our games are just downloaded. Now for me, you can see I currently have my .gba and my .zip file right here. For today's video, I'm just going to be selecting the .gba file. Simply click on it and then your game will start to load up in a new window. What you can do then is resize and scale this window however you want. And just like that, you're playing Game Boy Advance games on your computer. Now, thankfully, what RetroArch does is actually keep the original aspect ratio here, which I'm really happy to see. And because we're playing Game Boy Advance games, most computers should be able to run these at full speeds without any issues, and they should run really, really well. Now, if at any point you would like to access the menu or change any of your settings, what we can do is come up to the top left of this window. We can come to the command option, and here we can see a bunch of different options we can experiment. Or we can click menu toggle here to open up our RetroArch menu and change any of the other settings, including video layout settings. We can activate cheats, controls, shaders, and a bunch of other on-screen screen controls and different things to play around with here that we can use to experiment and play around with the settings for our Game Boy Advance. So feel free to come in here and take a look around. However, for the most part, it should run just fine for everybody. Now, one thing I would recommend doing is connecting up an external controller. Now, thankfully in RetroArch, it's really easy to set one up. You can use a number of different controllers. I'm going to be leaving a link in the description down below and a card on screen to a previous video where I show you how to set this up. For me, it makes the experience a lot better and I think it'll be a lot more enjoyable to play games with an actual controller rather than using a keyboard and mouse in this situation. Anyway guys, it's as easy as that to play Game Boy Advance games on your computer. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.